Hello everyone. Let's go ahead and start working on our Sharon Wells week two, skills one, page one. Let's look at the question number one. Jack drew the array shown below. Write two multiplication sentences to represent the array Jack drew. Then solve to find the product. Is the product even or odd? So let's go ahead and begin by analyzing our information. Let's understand what information is being given to us. Jack drew the array shown below. I see an array. So what do I see from that array? I know there are rows and there are a certain amount of images per row. So let me count my rows. First of all, how many rows do I have? I have one two, three rows, okay? How many in each row? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now I understand that array. I know this array has three rows and there's six in each row. Write two multiplication sentences to represent the array Jack drew. Then solve to find the product. It's very important to understand the question, to understand what is being asked of me. Because I can understand the information, but if I don't understand the question, then it's going to be hard for me to get a right answer. So what is what are the instructions? Write two multiplication sentences to represent the array Jack drew. Then solve to find the product. If we remember from the first part, um, multiplication sentences look like this. A number times a number equals a product. So it's asking me to write two. A number times a number equals a product. What numbers am I going to use to complete my multiplication sentences? Well, let's look at the information that was given to me. I said I had three rows with six in each. So those are the numbers I'm going to use. And I know that if six times three equals a product, then three times six equals a product. Now, if you know what six times three is, you can immediately answer, but if you don't, well, then we use our strategies like our domino. And I know I'm going to need six dots on that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times one, six times two, six times three, because I had three rows. So I know that any number times one equals itself. Six times one is six. And now I start using my domino. I start from 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 6 times 2 equals 12. I start from 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 6 times 3 equals 18. So if 6 times 3 equals 18, 3 times 6 equals 18. Can I make sure? Yeah, I can count them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yes, 6 times 3 equals 18. Is the product even or odd? What is the product? The product is 18. And what strategy can I use to determine if a number is even or odd? I can use my Leo. And then I write my numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
All right, let's look at my product and we look at the number in the ones place, number eight, I find it on my Leo and it is even. Okay, let's go to question number two. Karen earned 3,147 points during the first semester for a Read to Succeed program. Mike earned fewer points than Karen. His amount was an even number. Which could be the number of points Mike earned? Let's analyze our information. I know I'm talking about Karen and I know she earned 3,000 147 points um, because she was reading. So it's kind of like what you do in reading Renaissance, right? You read and you earn points. And then I have Mike. Well, it says Mike earned fewer points. So if he earned fewer, is his number going to be more or less? It is going to be more. It's going to be a larger number than 3,147. It's greater, it's a, I'm sorry, it's a less number, it's a smaller number. So if he earned fewer, he earned less. And if it's less, it's a smaller number. Okay, so I kind of have a picture. Garden is on top, then it was Mike because he earned less, his number was smaller. So I also know that his amount was an even number which could be the number of points Mike earned. This is a very important part. I have to understand the question. I have to know how I'm going to use the information that was given to me. Which could be the number of points Mike earned? <clears throat> and there's two ways I'm gonna find out. I know that um, Mike's number is smaller than 3,147. I know that it's less and I know that it's even. I have my Leo right there on top because I used it for my other, to solve my other problem. So let me use it again. I am going to go to the ones place of my answer choices and I'm gonna figure out which ones could be even. So I look at the number nine. First of all, letter F has a nine. Let me find nine and nine is odd. So can that be my answer? No. That cannot be my answer based on odd and even. The next number is zero. And zero is even. So maybe based on odd, based on odds and even, maybe. My next number is a three. Three is odd. So no, that cannot be my number. Next number is two. And two is even, so maybe. So there, I still don't know my, my answer, but I know which ones cannot be my answer because they are not even. So I am going to cross out F and I am going to cross out H and maybe could be G or J. How do I know? Well, it did say that Mike earned fewer. So now I have to compare my numbers. What do I use? I can use my place value. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. And I'm going to be comparing my two answer choices to 3,147. My first answer, answer choice, 3,160. And 2,952. Okay. So let me look at my first two numbers. I'm going to start at my thousands. Can I compare three and three? No. Why? Because they are the same. So I move on to my hundreds. Can I compare one and one? No. Why? because they are the same. So now let's look at four and six. Can I compare them? Yes, because they are different. So my question is, is six fewer than four? 
Is it less? No. Six is more than four. So I know that letter G cannot be my answer because it is not even and it is not less than 3147. But I still want to make sure. So I look at my last answer choice is two fewer than three? Yes. Two is less than three. So my answer is letter J. Let's look at number three. Which number is not divisible by two? And here we have a little reminder. Remember, a number is divisible by two if it can be divided by two without nothing left over. And we know that that fits the description of our even numbers. So I am going to use my ones place. And I'm going to figure out, I don't know my answer, but I know which ones cannot be my answer because I'm going to use this. And let's understand our question. I'm looking for a not. So which ones are not divisible by two? Odd numbers. Okay, so I know I'm going to have three yes. I'm going to have one no. And that is my answer. Okay, so even numbers. It ends in an even number. It's divisible by two. Let's go ahead and look at the zero. Let me use another color of highlighter. And the zero is even. So that's a yes, it's divisible by two. Next number is an eight. Even. So yes, that's divisible by two. Next number is a seven. Oh, so seven is odd. Odd numbers are not divisible by two. But I'm gonna put maybe, because I still have to check that last answer choice. I have a four. Four is even. So that's a yes. Which one is my possible answer? Letter C. But I want to make sure. So what do I do? It says here that a number is divisible by two if it can be divided by two without nothing left over. So what do I do? I'm going to divide. 3,747. Oh, that does not look like a seven divided by two. Now, how many times does the two go into the three without going over? One. Two times one is two. Three minus two is one. And I bring down my seven. How many times does the two go into 17 without going over? Eight. 8 times 2 is 16. 17 minus 16 is 1. And I bring down my 4. How many times does 2 go into 14 without going over? 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 minus 14 is 0. And I bring down my 7. How many times is 2 going to 7 without going over? 3, because 3 times 2 equals 6, and 7 minus 6 equals 1. That means I have 1 left over, and that is my answer. I should have nothing left over, but I did. My answer is letter C.